Our next review is the Harman Kardon Esquire Mini 2. Small little portable speaker, something that is important for, you know, the kind of life we are living right now. Uh, we have our phones, most of our music is on it, but sometimes we just want you know, the speakers on a phone are not good enough. You want something that plays good music, but it's not those bulky big speakers. Let's find out if the Esquire Mini 2 could actually play a role in your life. Harman Kardon, the veteran audio products brand, has taken on a new challenge and is branching out into products that are in demand these days. The case in point is their latest portable Bluetooth speaker, the Esquire Mini 2. So today on the show, we put our ear to this product and find out, is this Bluetooth speaker worthy of the Harman Kardon badge? And more importantly, is it worthy of your attention? Harman Kardon has pitched this Bluetooth speaker as a rather premium option in this category. And we can see why. It's not every day that you see a chic leather pouch bundled with a device of this nature. Talking about the product itself, the Esquire Mini 2 is indeed one of the best-looking gadgets we've come across in a long time. Comprising mostly of metal components, the unit with us is in black colour and it looks stunning. The ergonomics of this Bluetooth speaker is also quite favourable since it is compact and lightweight. Unfortunately, there is no official IP rating on the device, which means that you have to be careful with it around water. On the connectivity front, we get a USB Type-A port, a USB Type-C port and a 3.5mm audio jack, essentials for a Bluetooth speaker. Connecting our smartphone to Esquire Mini 2, it was time to find out what this junior Harman Kardon is capable of. We started out by playing some of the latest hip-hop tracks on the speaker on higher volumes. Surprisingly, the sound coming out of the 8-watt front-facing speaker was really loud but lacked bass. The results didn't change a lot even when we lowered the volume levels. The sound was crystal clear and retained details for both the vocals and the beat but had a major deficiency in punch. Then we decided to tune into some slow jazz tracks and understand how the Mini 2 performed when we played a polar opposite genre. And yes, the performance was smoother this time. Another feature of the Esquire Mini 2 is its ability to become a speakerphone. What it essentially means is that a user can take phone calls with this device. In terms of battery backup, the Esquire Mini 2 gave us a mileage of about 6 hours before we had to hook it up with a wire. This battery performance can be deemed satisfactory, but if you are a heavy user or someone who likes to travel, then it's not the best for you. A standout feature, however, is that the Mini 2 can act as a power bank as well. And with that, it is time to wrap up this review. The Esquire Mini 2 packs in all the best features that Harman Kardon has to offer. It looks great and it carries some practical options as well. Unfortunately, what it doesn't bring along from its Harman Kardon legacy is the stellar sound quality. The speaker performs well for its category, but for a hardcore audiophile, it is not the best option. At 10,000 rupees, you can consider this Bluetooth speaker if you are into aesthetics and audio performance does not concern you much.